Imagine living for two weeks in a steel box underwater. You might think that's a strange way to pass the time, but one man who's done just that says he's lived his dream. Helen is our submarine sleuth. Meet Lloyd Godson, or Bio-Subman as I prefer calling him, which let's face it sounds a whole lot more exciting and superhero-like. And when you hear what he's been up to the last couple of weeks, you could almost believe that's the case. He's been living in this steel box called the Biosub at the bottom of a lake near Aubrey in New South Wales. Biosub is about the size of a family car and living in it is like being on a mission to Mars. You have to provide your own air, water and food. I always like a challenge, I think, and I like the water. Biosub man is actually a marine biologist and he wanted to prove he could live in an isolated system where plants provided for all of his needs. Now you might be thinking that in Biosub there wasn't a whole lot of room for plants and you'd be right. So Biosub man turned to algae. Breathing up here is easy, there's lots of oxygen around. But underwater in a box, that's a different story. So some kids in America came up with a nifty idea to help Biosub man breathe. Does that make me crazy? The guys at Cascade High School in Idaho developed this thing which is called a biocoil. It used algae to remove carbon dioxide and provide oxygen for Lloyd while he was in his box. There's backup systems he has under there just in case it doesn't produce enough oxygen. But the biocoil will take all of his CO2 and turn it back into oxygen. And food, water? Well, he used a machine to extract water from the air. And he did plan to eat algae, but he was kind of cheaty pants on this one a little bit. Volunteer divers brought his dinner down to him sometimes. Pedal power was used to make electricity for basic appliances like his laptop, which he used to communicate with kids in classrooms around the country. Kids were able to ask Lloyd questions and see how he was going every day through his website. And the interest wasn't just in Australia. NASA has invited Biosub Man to be a part of another similar project in two years' time. So stay tuned for the next episode of Biosub Man.